Hey, we are back in After Effects, and today I want to talk about two things. The first is nesting, and the second is parenting. So here we are in, in a little project I've done. Uh, what I've done is I've used a plugin called Trap Code Particular to make this weird glowing orb thing, right? Nothing too crazy. Um, if I render it out real quick in a preview, you'll see it's basically all these little balls just kind of shooting out from this emitter, right? So it's just kind of spilling out, and it, that's all that's going on in this this composition. It, it's just that that effect. So if I go back to my plugins, and I have this is my my first comp, and it is just a map in an airship, and the airship is moving across the map, right? So let me just drop this down real quick. So it's just moving across this map. Pretty, pretty simple. Well, what you can do, one of the things that's very powerful in After Effects is you can nest compositions. What does that mean? Well, it means that I can take another composition where I, I've animated something and I can bring it into this composition. So in this case, I'm gonna go up here to my bin and smoke, remember, smoke is this composition. I'm gonna grab my smoke composition and bring my smoke down to comp one. So if you notice, right there from the start, it's just right in the middle. And that's exactly how it looks in the other one. What's nice and very useful is I can also animate in After Effects, or animate uh, a nested composition. So in this case, what I want to do is I want that, that little smokish trail to follow along behind this airship and an easy way to do that is to use the parenting tool so if I come over here to the smoke comp that I nested under parent I'm going to select airship and that means that the smoke is going to move in the same way that the airship is animated now because the two layers aren't lined up it doesn't look right there's two ways to fix this. I can get all nice and fancy, and there are times when you're going to want to do this, is I'm going to find out what the exact position is of this airship, and I can do that by up here. Make sure my X's and Y's, I know what they are. Then I'm going to go to my smoke layer and tell them to be exactly the same. Uh, another way you could do it, and this is a very cheat kind of way, is I can just simply grab this layer and put it to about where I want it. And then when it moves across the screen, it should be pretty close, right? Now, obviously, this isn't completely perfect. For example, I probably should have gone into Photoshop and got rid of this actual smoke down there. But you get the idea is that through nesting and parenting, I can do a lot more to my animations than I originally could. Uh, let me drop this down to quarter or third. Let's see if we can do a quick, uh, a quick render to give you an idea of what it looks like. from there to there so see the smoke just kind of trails along after the airship and I didn't really have to do anything to animate it again and it automatically follows the path of the parent because in this case the smoke composition is the child of the airship let's see how that looks real quick man things like moving at the speed of light I hope they don't crash oh I'm sorry is it too soon to make a Hindenburg joke I apologize no so you get the basic idea that's how nesting works and that's how parenting works till next time